Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be making my January 2022 currently page. This is the first one in this new planner so it's a layout that I'm not exactly familiar with. It has um, three boxes over here in this column and then a larger dot grid section. I am going to try to figure out how to make this work for me. I've seen some cool things on Instagram where people cover up like this dot grid section with scrapbook paper. So I found some scrapbook paper. I have this one right here from American Crafts. I got it at Joann's during one of their more recent sales and it is a little bit more Christmassy. I was like thinking maybe I would use it for a Christmas spread but I didn't end up doing that so I'm gonna make it work this year um, by kind of moving it into this January currently page. I don't want to go too Christmassy with this though so I'm pulling in these snowy neighborhood stickers from Alicia Michelle to do just like a more wintry like scene. It's not like explicitly Christmas even though it is kind of like a little bit red and green but I feel like these pair really well with the scrapbook paper. I will need to find some boxes at some point to make this like functional and I'm thinking maybe I want to do like some goal setting over in that little sidebar so bullet points would be helpful too but I have this merry and bright sticker book and I saw a few stickers in here that might work. Uh, something like this, like these two. I, I'm not sure yet and I guess I'll have to figure that out, that out as the video goes on. Obviously, I'm not trying to match it to this because that's a lot of colors and it's just not what I'm going for. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this currently page, hoping to make this one a quick one because my videos have been like super long lately. Uh, the Q&A that I posted yesterday was like 50 minutes and that's just kind of out of the norm for me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this currently page over here. I'd like to get started with the scrapbook paper base. So I'm going to take my Tombow Mono Dots adhesive and I'm going to cover this portion of the page and then stick the scrapbook paper on top of it and just trim away the excess. I feel like that'll be the most effective way to do this. I do have my crocodile punch, but for something like this size, I should just be using the regular Happy Planner punch because it has like all of the discs on it versus like one disc or whatever. Um, okay. Oh, this one's out. That's why it's been funky. Fear not, I have a second one in the stash. I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up all of the little notches to make sure that it doesn't come detached when I'm flipping through my planner. And now I'm gonna line it up so it matches up with that center line. I mean, it's not a center line, it's kind of offset, but I wanna make sure it matches that. And then pressing it into place. That worked out pretty well and now I'm going to take my scissors and just trim away all of that excess paper. Okay so I went ahead and got this all punched and good to go and I was thinking I would want these along the bottom of the spread so I'm going to go ahead and wipe these like dates to remember out. I already have those in my monthly so don't need them here. I'm going to take these stickers. Oh are these connected? Okay I guess these ones are connected. So we got a house and a tree together. And these ones are just gonna go at the bottom of this like sidebar, I guess. I don't know exactly what to call it, but it kind of looks like a sidebar. So we're just gonna make like a little neighborhood along the bottom. I do like the way that these ones have the white offset around them. So it'll help them stand out from the scrapbook paper because it is like fairly dark scrapbook paper and I don't want them to blend in with another tree just right here and I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them all right here like I could move them elsewhere in the spread if I really wanted to I was thinking I was just going to keep it to down here though got the yellow house and I want to make sure that one gets in there because otherwise it's very red and green one more tree okay so we are left with a single house and a single tree and that's not the worst thing in the world so we've got some little houses at the bottom like it is what it is it's not like exactly my favorite thing but I think we can make it work if we keep putting stickers down so this is what I was thinking for like the boxes um and I don't know how I want to place them on the page but I wanted to do the red and the green and maybe I could like overlap them so that uh like one of these icons isn't showing 
I think I want to keep the truck, but not the little farmhousey thing. So I'm going to place this one first and I'm just going to try to figure out where it's going without like fully sticking it on the page. Thinking like right here would be good. It blends into that scrapbook paper, but it's not the end of the world, especially since it kind of goes out into the sidebar. So you can kind of tell like that it's a green box and not just like a box without an outline. I'm doing my best to remove this little farmhouse from here just so it doesn't show through on the one with the truck. There's some floating like snow on this one, but I'm going to leave that. So placing this one right there. Okay. I don't think there's anything else in that Mary and Bright book that I particularly wanted to use. I'm looking at this house and I'm thinking like maybe if I like stick it up here, but that just feels very odd to like have it kind of floating above everything else. It looks a little bit better if I have it like in the cluster like this, but that's sticking out a whole bunch. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe this one out too now. So we're just kind of using these as blank boxes that I can layer things over. Okay, so I don't want the red in the red box. I want it kind of like next to it, which leads to the problem of having all of this white out right here. And I don't think the tree is going to be enough to cover it all up in the way that I would like. I mean, it does a pretty good job. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to accept that. So we're going to leave it like that. And this sheet of stickers is finished. This isn't quite enough functional space yet. So I'm taking the bold and blush book and we're going to start out with a quote. I like this one that says be love and light. And I'm going to use this to cover up that remaining bit of whiteout. Maybe I should have put this down before the tree and then put the tree on like the other side of the box. So I'm going to remove this real fast. Um, and we'll go like right here with the quote. I mean, it doesn't look the best over that whiteout. I don't think anything's going to look like perfect over the whiteout, but we're making, making some progress. So I could do the tree there or I could do the tree over here. I'm going to do the tree over here in case I want to layer some more boxes into this area. So that's looking good so far. And I picked the big sized book because the boxes in here are like, obviously they're big because um, they're meant for a big size planner. I'm looking for the rose gold foiled ones. Here we go. So I was thinking I would bring in like one or two of these guys. So like starting up here and kind of just making this cluster a little bit bigger. I couldn't decide on uh, silver or rose gold for this. I was like, maybe it's a gold gold foiled spread. Maybe it's a silver foiled spread. Rose gold is a nice like medium ground, I guess. So that's what we're doing. Um, and then I want it to kind of expand out into the sidebar. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily need that much writing room in the sidebar. So we've got that. Does it need one more? I can't tell yet. I like this white box with just the rose gold foiled polka dots on it. And that could be fun to kind of bring into this cluster a little bit to like layer with. I think it'll help um, also kind of help differentiate this green box from the green background if I can get it underneath both of these. So I'm just peeling away some layers. And do I want it like horizontally or do I want it vertically? I feel like horizontally will fit better in this spread. So I'm just going to place it right there. And this is all going to be trial and error. Hopefully this works out. So it's not even under the green box, Caitlin. Although I think it adds to the cluster. So I'm going to leave it there. It's not going to do exactly what I wanted it to do with the green box, but it'll be like a nice little element added in there. I kind of want something similar at the bottom to like even that out, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find anything along the same like pattern. Um, let's see what we got. Could add another box in. I'm going to take one more of these rose gold ones and it's not going to be a bigger box. It's just going to be like one of these title ones. And I'm going to use that on the green foiled one to just kind of bring those pieces together. 
I think that works out. What do we have? I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. I just know that I'm looking for something. Oh, I was looking for like one of those polka dotted boxes. I don't think there's anything exactly like that in this book. If I look for my classic size copy of Bold and Blush, I'm sure I could find it though, if I really wanted to like bring in another one. But the question is, do I really need another one in this spread? I don't know. While I think about if I need that or not, I'm gonna take some of these little page flags and just kind of do like sidebar sections. I don't know what I'm gonna use them for yet. Maybe goals, maybe like birthdays or dates to remember. I know I already whited out the dates to remember, but I can write them in again in my own handwriting to make things look a little bit more cohesive. I'm just gonna try to put like a few of them in each box. And that'll probably be like three per box, or at least for the top two boxes. I don't know if the bottom box even needs them because it's getting kind of close to this like decorative section down here. And they're labeled out. So this one doesn't have a label. This one says priorities and goals. And then this one says important dates. Whether or not I use them for the things that they're like pre-assigned to is a different story, but I'll, I'll figure that out. And if it ends up being something that it's not, I'll just white it out and change it to what I need it to be. So we've got some little headers going on over there. There's not any like black in this section though. Maybe that's what it needs is like something a little bit darker in the in the cluster I have going on. I could do some like black and white striped washi. I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. Uh, we also have this one that's the polka dots again, but it's not the rose gold foiling. It's pink, so I don't want to bring that in. But I'm thinking this could be like the graphic touch that it needs. I know we're putting stripes on top of plaid now which is a bold move, but I think it will work out. So a nice torn edge right there, and then I'm gonna trim a smaller section of it so that it has one nice edge and one torn edge to go over here onto this red box. And then for this last one, I wanna do it like up here onto the white and gold box with just another torn edge. I think that worked out. I think it like kind of brings stuff together. It makes it a little bit bolder. And now I'm looking at this and I feel like the better way to deal with this like clear quote on top of whiteout, and I know I've just kind of like ruined this quote by putting it on a bunch of whiteout, but is to peel that up and pick one of these. So I'm debating between be darling, be daring my darling, I can never say that out loud, and be bold, be brave and brilliant. If I did the black one, it would kind of complement the page flags and those washi strips, but oh, this looks like too much white. Okay, so we'll go with the other one. And I'm just gonna layer this onto the little house. Although I feel like the layering with this washi strip should be a bit different. So I'll start with this and we'll build from there. So be daring my darling. I think that helped quite a bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this, maybe not as much this time, cause I don't exactly like, I don't know. I can't tell if I like it going over the whole edge of the quote or not. I don't hate it. And I think it gives a nice little separation between the houses we have going on down below. I'm gonna try to just stick this back in the book and try to reuse it in a future spread even though it's covered in whiteout. Okay, let's see, anything else that needs to be done? I can't tell. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the discs and just get a good look at it. We've already established that it's not gonna match that, um, but I do think it looks good on its own. I think the one last thing that it is missing is just another smaller box to kind of offset that one. So I'm gonna find another of those rose gold foiled boxes. And I'm thinking I want it to go like over here, kind of layered with the washi tape. I think that balances things out nicely. Um, Cause it was feeling a little alone just to be the only like small box on the page. Everything else is kind of larger. So having those two balance out works out in the long run. 
And with that, I think I'm going to call it good on this spread. I like the way it turned out. I love these stickers from Alicia Michelle. I have another order sitting in my mailbox that I have to go down and get. Um, but I think they're Christmas stickers. I ordered them a while ago, but they, they just took a while in the mail. So we'll see what happens. I'll just use them next year. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I love the scrapbook paper. I think it's like a, such a pretty, like, wintry, kind of like New England vibes to me. I don't know. It's just something about that plaid. So I had a lot of fun kind of layering it and not making it super Christmassy. I would say this is more wintry than Christmassy, but I'd like to continue to think that because it's a January spread. So Christmas is done. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner-related content and follow me on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after-the-pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning!